think my interest in sustainability and green buildings and wanting to leave our space better than we found it is what um, sort of drove me to be more involved with green buildings and especially working for a company like PAE that's very uh, mission focused on um on addressing the the planet's energy and water challenges. So I think to me, that kind of personal, personal connection to wanting to address these big issues um, and how that dovetailed in with this math and science background is really the pairing that helped me, helped me land where I am today. When I come into the office, I actually come into a living building here in downtown Portland. So our building um, produces as much energy or more than it uses in a year. It captures all the water on the roof that the building requires over the course of the year. We have a 71,000 gallon cistern below our first floor and we have operable windows and radiant slabs, fresh air that help keep the building healthy and comfortable. So in terms of the actual environment, what was really exciting is I was also the engineer that worked on this project as well. So I get to work in a, in a building that I also had some personal connection to. One thing about consulting that can be challenging is that it's always deadline driven. So when we work on projects, there's a timeline, there's a budget, there's a construction schedule. So when we design our systems, we're usually working on a schedule that has a lot of other stakeholder engagement. So sometimes we have to be able to um, compress our design work to help meet a construction schedule, for example. So that can be really challenging if you're working on multiple projects and have that happening across, um, you know, multiple projects at the same time. But as you kind of gain experience in the industry, you help, it helps you understand more how those, um, how the work can kind of push and pull and how you can get, still get everything done that needs to be done. The pros or the benefits of working in this industry um, and being a mechanical engineer, I work on a lot of different types of projects. I've done schools, commercial office buildings. I work on higher ed projects, housing projects, and I've worked on projects all um, up and down the Pacific Northwest. So it's given me an opportunity to work for a lot of different owners and work with a lot of different architects. And that can be really, um, no, no project's the same. So it's not like you just become competent at one thing and you do it over and over again. We're always designing for a specific project, designing for a specific owner, and that makes each project new and different. And as technology is changing and we're really pushing as an industry to move away from fossil fuels, reduce carbon emissions, um, electrification has become a huge deal. So in terms of the mechanical systems we design, there's been an evolution of, um, of those systems and we're, we're designing things that we weren't necessarily designing five or 10 years ago. So a lot more heat pump technology, a lot more large scale heat pump central plants, which um, keeps things interesting. We're always, you know, leaning into that growth mindset, learning lessons, applying to them to the next project. I'm going to just say, I think it's really important to be a well-rounded person. And while the math and science was important, I always took almost as many art, uh, writing, English, um, philosophy classes. And I think that that was really important to me to help create some balance. I didn't think of college as just like a trade school for engineering. I thought of it as a way to have you know, this really well-rounded educational experience. And so for me personally, having that time to do the artwork or the time to kind of do deep thinking about literature was all just as formative. And I think those are the things that help create um, these different perspectives that we can all bring to the table uh, to help make the work that we do better. So I encourage people to lean in on the technical side if you're interested in that. But I think it's important to remember that um, we're, all, we're all people and not robots and those things that catch your interest that might not be sort of monetizable in the same way as your career path are still important to, um, 
to nurture along the way. Honestly, when I was in high school, I had a very hard time knowing what I wanted to do. And so it, I, I didn't know. And I think it's really great that some people are passionate from the beginning and kind of know what their path is and, and can kind of just jump into executing that. But I think it's okay to try things, pivot, you know, test something out, you know, take what you like, and then, you know, move on to something different if it's not working. So at least for me, it took you know, even till I was out of college to kind of figure out what I wanted to do and, and to land where I am today. So I think as high schoolers, I would think about the things that you feel passionate about or that are important to you and then kind of overlay that with what you're good at and help that guide a little bit um, of that career guidance or whatever. So at least for me, though, I don't think you have to rush into it if you're in high school. It's okay to not know I didn't.